my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is another episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to get to know you better and welcome you into the sewing community. Friendship is so important to me, so thank you so much to each one of my friends who keep coming back video after video. Thank you for taking time out of your Friday to spend a little bit of it with me. It means so very much to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. And leave a comment down below. Today is a Friday Sews and I love catching up with your sewing week as well as talking about mine. So let me know down below in the comment section what happened in your sewing space this week or did you not get a chance to sew? That's okay as well. I love chatting with you all down below in the comment section. So I have had an amazing sewing weekend. I am so excited to be up here in my sewing room chatting with you guys. Guys, I have a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. Uh, before we start that though, what am I wearing? This is my, let's see if I can scoot back here. This is my Minnie Mouse mom shirt. <laughs> I bought this one for Disney and there's a reason I'm wearing it today. So this is a really comfortable t-shirt though. I wanted to tell y'all, um, this is the Disney brand. Just purchased it from um, Amazon. I purchased one for myself and one for my husband and they are the most comfortable ready to wear t-shirts that we have encountered yet. Much more comfortable than, um, what's the one that starts with the G, Glidden or something like that. Much more comfortable than that one. And it fits me really well. So great brand there. The Disney's doing a great job with their t-shirts. Let's <laughs> jump right into my week. Like I said, I am so excited and enthused to be up here in my sewing room. I am having so much fun preparing for this Disney trip. Having a goal in mind, having something to sew for, and having all of these plans is really, really inspiring me to sew. I want to be up here all the time. <laughs> so I have been up here quite a bit working on um, some things this past weekend. I have completed my collab garment for the collab that's coming up at the end of the month. And I am so pleased with it, y'all. I cannot wait to share it with you. I love it, love it, love it. It is for me, and I'm really excited to share that garment with you. I'm not going to give any more hints, so stick around, subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, that collab will be coming up at the end of this month. Completed that, got that off my plate, and now I have majorly turned to that Disney sewing. So I did a video at the beginning of April of my April and May sewing plans. A lot of those were for Disney. If you didn't check out that video and you want to see what all I have planned, I will definitely link that down below in the description box for you. But I did make a jump start on Addie's little dresses. So I pulled this fabric out of my stash and I used the new Peekaboo Patterns Girls Raglan Dress to create this darling little first Mickey Mouse themed dress for our vacation. This is a double brush poly from Joann's. Like I said, it was in my stash. I don't think they have this design in my Joann's anymore, um, but it is a double brush poly on the bottom. I know we're going into some hot weather when we go to Florida. It's gonna be quite warm and humid, so I did not really want um, to put this double brush poly everywhere. I wanted to do some color blocking. This is a cotton knit that uh, also was in my stash. I think it's from Fabric Mart Fabrics. So I gave a little bit of a cooling, more cool, natural fibered uh, top to her for a bodice. And then I've added the double brush poly to the skirt and to the sleeves. These are the flutter sleeves. That pattern is so, so good. It'll be linked down below. It is one of their newest patterns from Peekaboo Patterns. Love it so much. It gives you three or four different sleeve options, two different skirt options. I did the circle skirt, but I'm also planning to do the gathered skirt as well. You can add pockets up here. This is actually a little pocket. Kind of just looks like a little applique piece, but it's actually a pocket. And they also have a pocket piece that you can put here on the sides of the skirt. 
excellent pattern. I'm gonna have so much fun with it. I have lots more planned uh, for Disney dresses, but I was so excited to get this one sewn up for Addie. Really quick, those raglan sleeves went in really well. Just a really beautiful little project. Now I made my little girl, uh, she's three years old. I made her the size four, but I graded out kind of here at the hips to a size five length because my little girl is tall. So that is the other thing that I finished that's what I can show you from the weekend but I've also made a jump start on other plans I have uh, printed out a ton of patterns let me show you my stack actually <laughs> the stack of printing and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you these in just a second but what I've already taped together is um, Addie's swimsuit pattern. So this is the Little Lizard King Antibe. I think I'm saying that correctly. It's a really cute two-piece uh, swimsuit set from Little Lizard King. So I have printed that one out and I have fabric to make her two new little swimsuits. And then I've also printed out the Little Lizard King Waikiki. This is a swim cover-up. I purchased some fabric from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be putting that together and working on that. So that's a swim cover-up, really cute. I also printed out my swimsuit. Now I printed this one out for the bottoms only. I wanna make the skirt. This is the Peekaboo Patterns Hanalei Bay and I really like this skirt here. I'm gonna lengthen it for a more modest look. Also printed out the Peekaboo Patterns Practical Princesses. Now I'm going to put together at least two, hopefully, princess dresses um, for Addie to wear while we're in Disney. This one right here, I know it's hard to tell when it's not colored, but it is supposed to be Rapunzel, like off of Tangled. I do want to make her that one. She loves the movie Tangled. And I think I'm gonna try to use this pattern to create an Elsa as well. She loves Elsa. <laughs> I've also found a new PJ pattern to try out. I wanted to make Addie some summer, more cool PJs um, for our Florida trip so I have found this peekaboo patterns a PJ pattern it's called the Alex and Anna PJs and it does give an option for shorts which I really wanted and a t-shirt or it even has a um, just a tank style shirt with bands I wanted bands on the bottom so I'm gonna make her some summery PJs and then the last pattern that I've printed out is a whopper of a pattern <laughs> this was the $5 Feature Friday from Love Notions. I think it might have been last Friday. It might have been the Friday before, but I've been watching this pattern and it happened to go on the Feature Friday, a $5 sale during my buying month that it was meant to be. <laughs> so this is the Love Notions Tinley Skort or skirt. I'm really interested in making um, the skort pattern. I just really love a skirt. I love wearing skirts. They're so comfortable, especially for the summer months. Look how huge it is. It is 117 pages long. <laughs> so I went ahead and printed it out. Now here's the deal. I might not have time to get that skirt sewn up for Disney. We're just gonna have to see and keep going with Disney make. So those are the patterns that I printed out um, this week and that's the ones that I'll be working on here. Definitely have more plans. You can go check out that video, like I said, for my April and May plans. And I'm gonna even have another video coming out um, probably at the beginning of May showing what I bought during my buying month. And there'll be plans in that video as well. Like I said, so much inspiration and creative juices are rolling through here, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited for this trip. It's so motivating got all these ideas so we'll see what I can actually get done <laughs> and I've been talking about my buying month here in the month of April and I have been doing a lot of buying I did purchase one length of fabric so far that I know is going to go into my stash but I'm trying to be really mindful of what I'm buying I'm only buying things that we need for Disney or that I want to try to use for Disney so that I can use that fabric up and not put a lot of fabric back into my stash I went into Joanne and Hobby Lobby over the weekend and it was tempting. I was tempted even after 
a year and you know three months of doing this now I'm still tempted to buy on sale fabrics. Williams has that really tempting clearance section where things are like four dollars a yard and then last weekend you took 25% off of that as well. I was tempted you guys. I was tempted to get a few things for the stash but I resisted. I said, no, we don't need that. We already have beautiful things in our stash. Let's focus in on what we need for our Disney trip. When doing a little bit of shopping for Disney, I have a little bit of a disappointing fabric haul to share with you. I ordered one piece of fabric for myself. If you watched my plans video, you'll know that I plan to make a Ellie and Max staycation dress to go with this shirt right here. I wanted a red and white polka dot dress to wear under this t-shirt and then I'll kind of knot the t-shirt up around my waist. I, I have a vision. <laughs> so I went out there trying to find red and white polka dot rib knit. I love sewing with rib knit and I especially love a staycation in rib knit. So I was very particular about what I was looking for. So the first thing that popped up, the first thing that I found was from Olga's Closet. Now I have had really good experience with Olga's Closet so far, but for this order, I have to say I was disappointed. Let me show you the fabric. Fabric quality is really good. I do like uh, the fabric quality from Olga's Closet, but the problem with this fabric was the color. Now on her website, when you order custom printed things, she does say that the color can be slightly different um, from what you actually receive in the mail. And in my case, red is a color that's slightly different in person it is definitely more orange looking let me hold it up and we'll see how it looks in the camera this is coming off more red i think for you guys in real life it's quite a burnt orange color still pretty let me hold it up to my shirt so you see this red here, it's not matching the same kind of red that I wanted for my shirt. So that's why I was really disappointed. I ordered three yards of this. Like I said, it's a beautiful quality rib knit. I really do like the quality of the fabric. It's just not the right red color for my dress. Now I'm gonna keep this, this was pretty pricey. I think it was like $50 with shipping and everything to get it um, here to my house. So I'm gonna keep this. And what I'm gonna do is try to make Addie some Minnie Mouse themed things. She doesn't have any little shirts that she needs to match it to. So I think it'll be okay for Addie for some Minnie Mouse themed um, garments three yards is going to get her a lot of garments. Some of this is going to go into my stash. I just So don't. in light of that disappointment, I went back to my searching and tried to find another red and white polka dot rib knit to match my mini here, <laughs> the mini of this shirt. And I have succeeded. So this order that I'm going to share with you is from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. Now I have never ordered fabric from them. I did purchase some uh, wallpaper samples and I really, I really liked their wallpaper samples. They have beautiful designs, beautiful prints. They also do custom printing and they have this red and white polka dot fabric there listed as one of their options for custom printing and I could choose the rib knit option. So this was also about a $50 order, ordered three yards of it. And this, this is the one you can tell, let me hold it up here. So you can tell that this is the color that matches my mini dress. And I'm really, really excited to be using this beautiful rib knit, great quality fabric. What I don't really like is this huge selvage. Look how big this selvage is. I mean, what is it? Three inches? that you lose on one edge of your um, of your fabric. So that's kind of a bummer. So that definitely takes my fabric to less quantity, but let me just show you the difference. So here's Raspberry Creek and here is Olga's Closet. <laughs> this 
one is definitely giving more orange hues. Still, I think it'll be okay for Addy. It still gives Minnie Mouse. I think it still looks like Minnie Mouse. But for me, I'll be going with the deeper red from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. So although that was a little disappointing, I definitely turned it around and found fabric that I'm going to love to use for my staycation. And I get some extra for Addy for a Minnie Mouse dress. <laughs> I did want to highlight real quick a couple sewing challenges that are going on right now. This one you probably have heard about. This is the Sew April Blouse Challenge. Uh, this one is going on on Instagram. The really neat thing about this one is that you can post anytime during the month of April. So you can post right now if you get your blouse done. It does have to be a woven garment, so I will post a picture up of that and one. The next challenge that I want to highlight is called Sew Autumn Denim. My dear friend Katrina reached out to me about this challenge. She is one of the hosts. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. I will link it down below and she's a dear friend. Uh, this is an Australian based challenge, so that's why it says autumn. <laughs> They are going into a different season than I am. So this is a really great challenge to um, use denim. A lot of us are scared to use denim. I have sewn a beautiful itch to stitch a Quebec skirt using denim and I love that skirt so very much. This challenge is to encourage you to sew anything denim. It could be pants or it could be a napkin, Katrina said. So this is a really great challenge and the really neat thing is you have two months to work on this. So this challenge doesn't end until May 31st. So it runs all the way through April and May. That is amazing. So you have time to work on your project. You don't have to feel rushed. I'll post a picture here of Katrina's uh, challenge. There are um, other hosts from Australia as well. I hope that you all will take part in these great sewing challenges. So on to life. Um, like I said, I've just been up here in my sewing room so, so much over the last week. My husband was away for business last week, so we went to my mother's house to spend the night, Addie and I did, um, just to spend a little time with them. And we were getting a little bit lonely without Josh. <laughs> so we went and spent the night with mom and dad. One of the really fun things about going to mom's house is she has a, a great sewing room herself, and it is full of of goodies. Now mom receives the Fat Quarter Shop Sew Sampler boxes. They're kind of like a little mystery subscription box from the Fat Quarter Shop. So it's, it is centered around quilting, but you get all kinds of cool notions in there as well. And I love going to mom's house because she loads me up with notions that she doesn't really have a need for. So I've got a, a little free haul here from mom. The first one is called Magna Fingers. This is a magnetic reaching tool. Let me show you the back. Really kind of neat to pick up your pins if you've got them scattered around your sewing room. It's got a neat little clip on it there at the end. So that was cool to pick up from mom. And then the next thing I really, really thought was so interesting. It is a binding holder from Lori Holt, Be In My Bonnet. Sorry about the glare. You would create your binding, um, particularly for a quilt. You have a lot of binding, a bulky binding um, for putting the binding on quilts. So you could wrap that around this and this is going to help you store and hold your binding. Usually I just kind of roll it up on itself and make a ball, but I'm really excited to use that. And then mom also gave me this. Now these are magic pins. I do have some of these, but there's some in here. The blue ones, no, I'm sorry, the purple ones are forked. So they kind of give you a, um, a little sample pack. This came from mom's, like I said, or the sew sampler boxes. There's six of each in here. These magic pins are heat resistant. You're supposed to be able to iron over them um, fairly easy. So I'm excited to give those a try, especially that forked one. <laughs> Haven't seen that before. So that was pretty good for a free notion haul from and mom. And I think that's gonna do it for this hashtag Friday Sews. A lot going on in my sewing room. <laughs> Hopefully y'all will follow along with my journey. Thank you so much for your friendship. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Like I said, let me know what you're going to be working on. What projects do you have going right now? I love, 
I love hearing about your projects. That makes my day. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.